Hey, what's going on my gilded brethren? Today I'm bringing you this um, a tutorial on how to create the uh, parental advisory logo tags that you see on almost, no, on almost every uh, CD published today because it, if it has adult language or, you know, explicit lyrics in it, it will have this tag on it. But, you know, there are some CDs that don't have any curse words in it and they don't have it on there. But today I'm just going to show you all how to make a custom one. Um, one of uh, my subscribers, uh, his name, his screen name is a poet, a, a poet's words was, uh, I'm actually making this for him. It wasn't a request. He had, he said he had some problems getting, um, the parental advisory, uh, logo to change colors in another tutorial I did, but I just, I have an answer for that. You could just make your own and it's simple. And, uh, I reference this one. This is the official one right here, but you know. Mine looks a lot better. It looks like it's space age compared to this archaic old parental advisory look. I'm, but I'm about to show you all how to how to uh, make your own custom one. And I will be referencing this just to, for uh, position and shapes and sizes of the words. But yeah. What I want you to do now is open up a new file. It doesn't really matter, matter the size. I'm going to keep mine at high def 1920 by 1080p. 300 resolution. I'm going to color in the background to a gray color. And what you can start off by doing is um, choosing what, whatever uh, whatever font you want. I'm going to choose some random fonts just to keep uh, keep the variety in, in full swing. Let's see. I got a ton of fonts. Um, I'm going to use this. For the advisory, whoops. Id. Oh yeah. I have caps lock on. Advisory. There we go. Position that to where I want it. Let's see something really quick. Um, this is quite bold. Uh, bold wasn't bad, but I don't want it to be bold. And now I'm going to be spelling out parental. But I will be changing the font. I want to make uh, parental and explicit lyrics totally different fonts. Well, the same font, but just different from the advisory font. Just because that's how it's, that's how we plan it today. That's too thin. See how bold looks. Too thin. It doesn't. Alrighty, this is cool. This is cool right here. I'm going to enlarge this advisory real quick just because I want you all to uh, get a good look at it. Line these up. Um, and what I did was I hit Control T to resize the uh, fonts. And um, I held Shift to shrink it uniformly. And see, if you don't hold Shift, you can do anything with it. But when you hold Shift, it keeps it nice and uniform. Alright, I think that's big enough. And with this parental advisory, watch this. I want to show you all something. Hold on. Let me fix this P really quick. There we go. I want to show you something really fast. Alright, it's lined up. It's lined up. Is it lined up? Uh, oh, there we go. Alrighty, I'm going to highlight uh, parental. And over here, you see this VA? I have no clue what VA stands for. It's letter tracking. Um, I guess it's just to, you know, signify you're going to be splitting the letters apart. But watch this. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna mess with this setting. What I want you to do is spread it apart just enough. Oh man, I keep skipping. What am I skipping? Oh, 180. Spread it apart far enough for. I gotta, I gotta shrink this text. This text is too big. What is this? Thirty? It's only thirty. What? I'm gonna make it twenty-four. Just to add to the effect, because it didn't look like it was really separated at all. It was smushed together still. All right, there we go. Oops. Up, up, up. There we go. All right. Now that's cool. 
that's nice and simple. I'm going to show you the reference. Well, I'm still referencing this, the original, but I'm trying to keep it, you know, in line with it. I don't want to go too far outside the box, you know, and disgrace the uh, parental advisory logo gods. You understand what I'm saying? All right, now let's get this explicit lyrics. Ek, whoops. Explicit lyrics. And as you can see, it's yeah, way too big and way too far apart. But this will, as this is, be smaller than parental. Even though it's the same font, it will be smaller. And I do believe all these three are the same fonts, but this is custom, and custom jobs call for custom measures. And we're going to make ours look very different than anyone out there, okay? And uh, I'm just giving you the tools. Your artistic freedom, you know, you exercise that right of artistic freedom. I'm going to enlarge this a little bit, though. I'm going to make it uh, 14. See how 14 looks. Bam, 14 is cool. But let me line up. Let me make sure the purple lines are cool. Oh, oh where did the purple line go? Where the purple line? Oh, man. Uh, no purple. Up oh, there we go. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. oh, man. Need load. I got to bring my own, my own uh, ruler out. Whoops. Where are my guides at, man? Show guides. Where are smart guides at? I don't know why they want me to uh to fail, man. Oh, that's how they gonna make. That's that's what I gotta do. Whoops, I didn't mean to make horizontal. Vertical, man. My goodness. I had to do that. Usually I have a little I must have messed with the setting on accident. Oh, oh, it was almost perfect too. Whoa. Alrighty. That was just my system going a little having a little bit too much free will. Hold on, let me make one more guy just to make sure. One more guide, new guide, the vertical new guide. Uh, here we go. I gotta make sure it's lined up perfectly. Ah, all right, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I was trying to line it up as perfectly as I possibly could. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna make it 570. So I gotta go in here and type it in. 70. Alright, that's about as close. You know what? Bam, there we go. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna clear the guides. I'm gonna clear the guides. Clear guides. Where is it? Where is it? Bam. Alright, explicit lyrics. I'm gonna move down some. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to Linton Advisory. Because it has to, it has to be real. It has to be thicker than parental and uh, explicit lyrics. Remember, this is custom. Got to step outside the box, try new things. And alrighty, um, let's see something. Hmm. Whew. Hmm. Let's make these letters. Um. Let's make them red. Just ma just making them red, okay, Su Wu. Alrighty, we're just gonna we're just gonna make them red. Just stick just stick with me, okay? We'll make those red. We're we gonna make this middle one. Hmm. What well, goes to red and white? Let's make them red and white. Red and white is cool. Alrighty. And now what we're gonna do? We are uh, we are going to make we're gonna grab the uh, rectangle. Make sure the fill is set to white. And um, I think about right here is cool. I'm going to drag that to, to down here. 
try to position it the same place it was on the P. Well, you know what? It needs to be bigger. It needs to be a lot bigger. So I'm make it a little bit bigger because I got a, a lot of things have to go inside this box. Alrighty. Um, I'm uh, I'm using the D-pad on the keyboard to uh, move this around. Alright, there we go. And now, next, what we're gonna do is make a smaller. We're gonna make a smaller uh, red box. So this time, the fill is going going to be whatever color this is. Hold on. It's gonna be. What I did was when I clicked on fill, I clicked on the little rainbow box, and with this little target, it's gonna make the red the same color as the as the letters. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Undo. <clears throat> so what I want you to do now is, you know, position it to where it's a little bit of leeway. And what we're gonna do is uh, do the same thing down here. I think that's cool but change the field to red then bang there we go let's bring the advisory up so we can see it watch how you know what I think is going to happen um you know we're just gonna have to wait and see but no before we do anything else select the red rectangle or whatever color you made the second rectangle and I want you to just pull up a little bit and pull down the same amount and pull over a little bit also so it was a little bit too much a little bit too much white I felt like this right side I have is Hold on, hold on. Whoops, whoops. Sorry. I'm messing up. Hit enter. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. And now these next boxes we're going to make. Select a different layer. And reselect the uh, rectangle tool. Yes. These next couple boxes we're going to make are going to be white. Yeah, there we go. Because if we're staying uniform with this, that's how that's how it does it. We gotta stay uniform. We don't want to mess with the uh, the um, with the parental advisory logo gods. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm messing with the wrong thing. I'm I'm acting up. Alrighty, but well, what was I was trying to do was center center the parental. But you know, to keep things short and simple, where this rectangle we just created, we're going to duplicate that, duplicate it, and we're just going to use the D-pad and drag that down to its uh, its cousin. And there it goes. We're going to um, we're going to modify this really quick with the uh, the rectangle copy selected. Hit Control T. And we're going to make this box a little bit smaller. Just because the uh, the words down here are smaller. Move that down. We're going to actually. Going to move the explicit lyrics down also. Push it back a little bit. And uh, we're going to try to center. Hey, I think this, is, this looks alright. And um, by no means is this as far as this tutorial goes this was just the groundwork the infrastructure for you to build on you you understand what i'm saying this right here this might not be anything what you expected it to be but it showed you what you needed to know to excel and surpass what i just what i just created this is this is nothing compared to what you're going to create in the future if you if you want to but if you don't i'm going to have the link to this parental advisory uh this this um this right here 
this uh, custom one. The link will be in the description. Also, the link to to this. Whoops, he put that back. The link to uh to a ton of these, a ton of these other than the uh, the custom one. And you know what? I'm gonna go as far as to throw this one up on the internet too. Also, so I'm gonna have the link to these two custom parental advisory tags, and also um yeah yeah any any questions you know let me know shoot my video a like share it on facebook tell your buddy subscribe let me know what you think and i would love to see your work also but hey thank you all for watching and have a happy youtube and day take care